Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, this is to inform all of Apple users of iPhones and iPads. And once again, a lot of people, when I do this, tell me why do I do it? Because a lot of Windows users have iPhones and iPads. And um, so there's a, a very important security fix that has been actually uh, sent out for zero day used in attacks against iPhones and iPads. So these fixes that have been released uh, today, the uh, October the 24th, uh, fixes uh, the security flaws where a out of bond right issue can be re can be done. And this was reported by an anonymous researcher and it causes the software writing data outside of the boundaries of current memory buffer. And of course, that results in data corruption and the ability to crash and uh, execute code that could simply take over your iPhones or iPads. Um, if successfully exploited, the attacks of the zero day could have been used by potential attackers to execute code in the kernel with all the privileges needed. The impacted devices, iPhone 8 and later, iPad Pro all models, iPad Air 3rd generation and later, iPad 5th generation and later, and iPad Mini 5th generation and later. So this will actually uh, send your, uh, your update to uh, fix this problem. So patch your iPhones, patch your iPads is very important. And this is a zero day that's already exploited. So that means some bad guys out there they have already done the code and they've already done what it needs to crash your phone, execute code, take control. And as uh, you always say, uh, not because you have an Apple product that you're safe. There's tons of security flaws on the Apple Mac and on iPads and iPhones, as you see here. This is not just a Windows thing like too many people still think today. So do update your devices and make sure that you stay safe to uh, use them as uh, this is a very bad zero-day security flaw for iPads and iPhones. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.